Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews. A little tip, a little tip for FPV flyers today. And if you use FPV, chances are sooner or later you may lose a model. You may find it lands somewhere and you do not know where that somewhere is. If you've got an on-screen display and you've got a video recorder going, a DVR going, you might be able to record the GPS coordinates where your model went down or the last known position of your model. That'll make life a lot easier if you've got a corresponding handheld GPS that you can use to track it down. But as we all know, sometimes things don't work out that way. Sometimes the video link may fail. That may be why you lose your model or your DVR didn't record or the GPS lost its lock before you crashed. So the GPS data may not be of any use to you. Now there is, or there are a number of devices you can buy, little boxes, you know, you know, say big, which you can put in your model, have a GPS receiver in them, and you can then get the coordinates from your smartphone. But again, if the GPS side of things isn't working, perhaps the model has ended up upside down and the GPS antenna is not getting any satellites or it's stuck in trees and it's way down the bottom of the canopy, there's no, you know, the tree canopy, there may be no GPS signal down there. So they won't always work either. So what do you do? And what if you don't want to invest in all this expensive stuff? Well, you can use this. And this is just your regular free sky telemetry system. Now, I was talking to a guy who's a new member of the FPV underground. Just the other day, came along, saw me, and he's effectively joined up to the FPV underground. And he showed me this, and I thought, hey, that's really, really clever. Why didn't I think of that, you smart bugger? So I thought, yeah, this is cool. I have to share this with my viewers. And what is it? Well, it's a free sky telemetry receiver. That's it. And it's got the antennas here. It's just been wound. The antennas have been wound up. It's got, he's actually put a sleeve dipole on there, which gives you extra range. I'll show you about that later. And it has a single lithium battery, a little lithium cell attached to it. And that's really it. Now, if you fly with a telemetry version of FreeSky, you don't need this. You've already got one of these in your model, right? So that's when, you, when your model crashes, lands somewhere far away, this will be doing, this will be working already. And the reason that this works is because the Free Sky system sees back a thing called RSSI, that's Received Signal Strength Indicator, which means that's how strong the signal is. Now, and normally this will go up and down as your model flies further away and closer. And if you go out of range, it'll beep, all sorts of stuff like that. So if you have this already, then you can just use your transmitter and you use it to find your model because we're going to use the antenna as a directional antenna. Now you may say, well, that's not a directional antenna. That's just a, just a whip. It's just an omnidirectional, it's, you know, it's just, should be the same in virtually all directions and while that's largely true we all know that there's a null point on the end and we can use that null point to track down a lost model if we try really hard now if you fly uhf if you've got a, a dragon link or a armal c and you go down well of course you know this isn't going to work but what you can do is just throw one of these on board anyway if you've got a uhf system and you want to use this system to locate your model if it gets lost then just get yourself one of these $25 receivers and a single lipo cell plug it all in throw it in the plane and off you go it's not much weight in fact you can use the smaller ones I think or these have a little bit more range but you can even use the little ones which are quite light and then away you go if you lose your model then you get out your little telemetry dashboard thing from free sky and you can do the same thing now you can also use a long range antenna, oops, lots of stuff on the bench, you can use something like this, a high gain antenna, a Yagi beam antenna, 18 decibels of gain, 65 times I think I worked at that as. So although your 2.4 gear may not normally reach the same distance as your UHF, if you use an antenna like this, it's going to go an awfully long way to doing so. In fact I'd expect it like this, you should, with the model in the air, you get about 20 kilometres of range, but if you are on the ground you may still get five, six, seven, eight kilometers of range, depending on exactly where it's positioned. If it's behind a hill, well, you're out of luck. But if you go wandering and take this with you, then when you are in view of the receiver, which is actually a transmitter as well, then you'll start getting a signal and then you can hunt it down. So what I'm gonna do now is take this outside and I'm gonna stick it somewhere and I'm gonna show you with the aid of the camera, hopefully, all things being equal, how you can track down this receiver using just your regular free sky transmitter. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so I'm outside, hopefully not too much wind noise because I haven't got a sock on this microphone, but I'm outside here, this is a concrete slab. I'm going to plug in this receiver, just so it's going, it's just going to be sending its uh, telemetry signal off. Here we go, and the little red light should be flashing. Where are we? Got it plugged in the right way around. Yes, I do. So that all should be working. I'm just going to put this here. This would be our model. Now, if our model had crashed somewhere, there it is. 
and I'm going to turn on my transmitter and with luck if I go to my data menu here we go I'll bring this over to the camera so you can see hopefully this will all focus um, what I've got now is the telemetry screen showing there shows us the 4.3 volt battery voltage and here's the RSSI figure I hope we can see this because I can't really see on the screen I'll try and get there we go there's the RSSI figure now it's pretty much maxed out so let's go a little way away and see what happens right so there we have our receivers way over there I'll just zoom back out here so you can see we've come quite a long way away from the receiver so let's have a look at what's happening I just have to fold the little LCD door out on my camera excuse me so I can see myself let's see what's happening here on the LCD display now you can see that the RSSI figure has come down there hopefully you can see it's come down what I'm going to do now is actually tilt the camera down so you can see hopefully while I point the transmitter at the I might have to zoom up a bit here now what I want you to do is watch the LCD and watch the figures here particularly as I move the transmitter around now it's not working as well as I'd hoped because the sun's in the wrong place but um, as I point it directly at the receiver the RSSI level drops I wonder if I can tilt that up a bit there we go that'll help the RSSI level drops when I'm pointing straight at it when I move to the side the level actually increases by quite a bit you can see now we've got 77 and 73 but when I point it straight at it it drops down to 60 something 63 when I go the other way signal comes back up to 70s again so by pointing the transmitter antenna straight at the receiver I get a much lower signal I don't know if I can get it all in shot here but uh, yeah it's simply using the null point to locate the direction in which the receiver is facing because remember the receiver is transmitting here so we're getting a signal from the receiver and if we point the null of the transmitter directly at the receiver it's the least sensitive so we get less RSSI reading so we can do that with its direction finding we can find the direction of our model brilliantly simple and it seems to be pretty damn effective and hopefully to show that there just wasn't a fluke I've repositioned the camera and now if I can get everything to work it's really quite difficult I'll just I'm pointing the camera's pointing straight at the receiver I'll try and get this in the sunlight so you can see and you can see my shadow there aren't I wonderful I'll just zoom in a bit so hopefully I can get the screen on screen now the lighting is awful anyway here we go um, unfortunately you have to be pointed straight at it I can't tilt it up like this because otherwise the aerial is being exposed to the side so um, again I'm getting 50 something or other pointing straight at it move it to the side it goes up to 75 pointing straight at it comes down to 60 so you can see it there I hope I just oh, this light is awful never mind so that's the basic way you do it so there you go if you're thinking of getting a telemetry enabled system before then this ought to seal the deal shouldn't it because it becomes a model finder as well and uh, a very effective one at that so there you go the free sky telemetry system works really well in this application and as I say if you take if you're running even if you're running 72 megs or 433 megs throw one of these in your plane and you can take of course you don't have to have a whole transmitter you can just have this little module and plug it into a battery and have it running standalone and that'll work good too you can get the little cheap little dashboard would do the trick with one of the free sky two-way modules plenty of ways of setting this up if people are interested I might do a DIY on the show you how to set it up without a transmitter because if you've got a transmitter oh, it's easy enough and then away you go remember that with an antenna like this the weaker the signal the more pointed at the model the antenna is simple as that of course you have to know roughly which way the model is in terms of there's also a null out the back so if you were facing exactly the wrong way and the model was behind you you'd also get that null but I think it's, most people know roughly where the model's gone if you're trying to track it down so there you go thank you to the uh, chap that showed me that idea and yeah try it out works really well and as I say if you want to go longer distances you know with one of these antennas if, especially if you're standing on a hill or something and you've got a good view then you'll get a lot of range with an antenna like this and the free sky module will go many many miles to be able to pick up the direction of the model and as you get closer of course you, you know you're still able to find that point remember with the Yagi you'll get the strongest signal in the direction 
of the model. With a stock whip, you'll get the weakest signal in the direction of the model. There you go. Hope you find that useful. If you do, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned. More videos coming, more part twos as soon as I'm in the air. Bye for now.